Alright guys, we are back with Jurassic World Evolution 2, and yes, um, I'm wearing different clothes because it's on a different day. Um, as you can tell, my cold has gotten worse, I do sound a little bit worse. Also, I figured out that this, this is how my, my mic should be set up, because it doesn't pick up any background sounds. And it's perfect. It's just where it should be at. So hopefully now it should sound ten times better than it was before. So so last time we just completed Washington's uh, level. And we rescued an Allosaurus from its injuries. And now we are heading off to Pennsylvania. Which is at 40% done now. So... We're literally almost done with the game, so, uh, I did do this, so I got this, so, and I did go into sandbox mode a little bit just to see if I did get my pre-order stuff, which I did, so I'm happy. So let's continue. <laughs> Never mind. This ain't the one. There we go. Now we're on the course to go to the campaign. Um, I mean, I'm a little bit hungry, so I got me uh, some pizza. It's a little mini pizza. Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're gonna have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established, but before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me? I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> oh wait, arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. Hey, Lambert's George returned. Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us <clears> in the Marines <throat> and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous catches that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Hopefully this will be big enough for the uh, carnotauruses that are coming. So if I remember correctly, the Conotaurus Okay. So get some water in. There we go. And then they like sand. Lots and lots of sand. <clears throat> so how are you guys doing? Doing great? Well, I hope so. I like to check up on my viewers, see how they're doing in life. There we go. Transport. One. Two. We have new arrivals that will need food and housing. 
I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. Is that about cover it, Doc? Perfectly. Alright, so... Ah, struggling. Struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Don't look at me, Ma. Perfect. I got everything completed. They're both happy. Oh, it's just so cute. And perfect. You know, here's an interesting fact about Conotaurus is that its skeleton rig, um, its its fossil, um, its skeleton is built very narrow and thin. So, they what scientists believe is that um, is that the that Conotaurus is actually like the Jurassic cheetah. Or the Cretaceous cheetah. So that means it was capable of running high speeds and not very sharp corners. And honestly, um, you could really believe that by just the just by looking at the um, the skeletons. So yeah, um, the theory is that, um, theory is that, uh, Carnotaurus, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't run in a, sh or it couldn't, or couldn't make sharp turns when it was running, which honestly makes sense. So, yeah, with Carnotaurus, that was the thing. Also, the theory is that um, it uses its horn not as like a ram's, but as a mating display. So maybe it had those really big antler kind of horns, or maybe like a bull's horns where they just curve. But that's a theory. Uh, but I, I like that theory. Let's see, so you... Huh, okay. Well, I have to wait for the Allosaurus to get into here so we can monitor. Asset transportation underway. I'm not sure I'll ever be fully comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are, so <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. Oh, look at the moon off in the distance. 
Oop. I pressed it too many times. Alright, so you want more forests. And there we go. Oh, look at that Allosaurus. Absolutely beautiful. You know, um, the, the, uh, the website for Jurassic World Evolution 2, they previewed this Allosaurus that had an orange skin with, um, blue pattering on it. And, which it looks exactly like my logo's colors. Which, I would actually love that. So, if... When we get into sandbox mode and we're creating our own park and all that, um, I could definitely have like the Spinosaurus be our main theme. I would definitely love that. So, yeah. My God, look at her. She just, she's so beautiful. I, l you know, um, when Jurassic World Dominion comes out, I know they're going to have the um, the battle at Bid Rock Allosaurus, which I really hope they they make that as like um a skin. So the dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. As All right, sure so our research is more valuable when construct a science center, a staff center, and a pillow so okay. and operational. This means Operations. more scientists will be needed, so build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment uh, that has already been made center. in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. I knew it. Hold on. No. Okay. See this? This is where that that little feature really starts coming in, where you don't have to uh, waste all your money trying to rebuild that stuff. So that's, that's a great addition to do that now. So pillicle. Paleo. Yeah, that set up there. That's perfect. Yeah, they have P for path. I don't know why I'm not doing that anymore. Perfect. 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 There we go. Press tab to view. Construct Lambert an here. operational. Really use an expedition center. Get one oh, okay. Expedition center. All right. We'll do it here. Perfect. Dr. Dua and hmm. that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hot spot. I'll do what I can on my end. Wow, all right. They already want us to have more dinosaurs. Oh, that Brachiosaurus. All right, so they want Carnotaur or Ankylosaurus. But before we do that, the people that we kind of I can't 
cannot train you, but I can recruit a new scientist. None of these scientists are actually really that good. Alright, we'll just, we'll use the two scientists that we have at the moment. So, you and you, and then we can start the extraction. So, hopefully we can get two. Okay, the good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams. Which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that, I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a 100% win in my book. Now to the bad news. Which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy <laughs> <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease. And we've got to get a handle on it post haste. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> oh, great. Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. Let's get to work. Like a game of Tetris. There we go. Uh, then we can delete these. And then, oh. Alright, we captured two of the ankylosaurs, and none of them have invaded. Give me two more minutes so I can build their enclosure. Uh, da, 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 oh god. Whoop. There we go. All right, and then we need a. Oh no! I'm clicking on all the wrong things. We need a backup generator here, and then we need a fence here, and then we are going to give these guys some water. There we go. And don't forget, we gotta create a path. There we go. Alright. The guys, the armor boys are coming in. Oh god. Transport. Assets in the air. Hmm, let's probably get over there pronto. Beep 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that drift. Check. 
All right. Well, what about your enclosure-wise ground lease? Uh, and ground fruit. Still not enough? A little bit more. Perfect. Now they're happy. Now they need a medical scan, which I need to go over here, grab this, and drive. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, um, I noticed in my last video I didn't talk a lot, sorry about that, but I'll make it up with this video. I'll talk a little bit more, and hopefully um, start doing what I was actually going to attend to do with this Jurassic World series, is that um, I would talk more and I would give fun facts about dinosaurs, that way I can still be educational with dinosaurs and all of that. So, yeah. Um, I know that, uh, that I, I, I say these things, but I end up being quiet as hell. You have to understand something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. What? Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. All right, research. They a chance at life as much as any other living creature. Honestly, perhaps even more, as the miracle of science gave them a second chance. So, do the research, find the cure, and then let's use it. The dinosaurs die, again, and listen, that's There's not. There's a lot going on here. I need to research that. Insufficient skill. Dang it. So I do need to hire a new scientist. Um, so wait, what was that I needed? I need... Alright, I need that little gear symbol, which is... Logistics. I need somebody with logistics skills. Which... Best one is also you. All right, I got a care. I got a scientist with logistics skills. So start researching that, my my friend. Start. Here we go. All right, he's researching that. Um, can't speed up time. Medium electric fire fence. Scientist training, efficiency upgrades. Interesting. Well, what's going on with the rest of these dinosaurs? Oh, so we unlocked an Ankylosaurus. Jurassic World Database. The Jurassic World Database tracks discoveries and unlocks modes uh, made across all modes. Research items, release new species, and progress through each mode to unlock new entries. Each unlock gives access to the item in sandbox mode. So we got the lovely Ankylosaurus. So, made an appearance in Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay. Awesome. So that's, that's being researched right now. So, as so long as... The armored boys are happy, and the allosaurus doesn't go on a rampage. Uh, Diagnosis medical. Once identified, research to get a right cure for a disease at the science center. Ah, uh, God, uh, such a runny nose. Once research administer the cure with a dot. Okay. So, 
Oh, research. Research, uh, research offers a wide range of options to expand and enhance your operations. Gain access to new building, building upgrades, new species, and operations improvements. Assign the appropriate scientists to research a new item, unlocking access to the next layer of items. So yeah, that's that's kind of something I noticed with the research. Um, uh, it's it's very um, what's the word? It's it has changed a lot since the last time. So yeah. There are three types of fence. Cool. I mean, once this, once the scientist is done, we can hopefully get right to it and continue on. So come on, dude. Let's maybe we speed up the process. So it'll go faster. Beep beep. Can we change the skin yet? No. All right, the research research is done. All right, time gonna go treat those dinos from their their issue. God, this thing moves like a turtle. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys saw that I did open up a um, a poll so you guys can decide. Um, what should be my next, uh, dinosaur, dinosaur history video. It's actually kind of cool that we get to do it like this. We can drive and shoot at the same time. Oh, we can't even honk the horn. Awesome. Incoming armor boys, I'm healing you up. There you go, they're both healed. Complete the DFW headquarters by increasing I asset I ratings. Just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. Can you confirm? Yes. Oh, that's so correct. um, we need to those grow this thing. facility, which means we need more animals. So it's time to stress test our systems like and make sure we're capable of managing both the science stuff. Okay. and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs. Ceratopsids. Plenty of targets to bring in. Interesting. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Oh great! So now we gotta extract more dinosaurs and make this place bigger. Diplodocus, there's a site for three Diplodocus, Cynoceratops, Parasaurolophus, Brachiosaurus, Camerasaurus, Torosaurus, Deinonychus, and Baryonyx. Let's go with the the five parasaurs. You have so we'll assign you since you have the most experience. All right. So while he's doing that, we are going to get some parasaurs into this little area. So let's speed that up and get ready for the parasaurs. Oh, cohabitation. All right. Each species has a type. Check for the details in a dinosaur statics panel uh, or statistics panel. Each type of dinosaur will peacefully cohabit with a number of other types. They will happily share a territory. Some species 
Some species types are incompatible with the with others and will conflict if they share a territory. Building upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. So like um Science Center. Let's see. Uh building upgrades. Oh. Structures. Oh, there's a lot here actually. Uh, okay. Let's um let's hire another scientist. Shall we? And if we want a fence upgrade, we need uh, logistics. We need more logistics like you. Higher. There we go. We got somebody with a little bit more uh, that. So, we'll hire you. And there we go. Oh god, I wish this cold will go away. Five parasaurs have been captured, zero has avoided. All right. Transportation underway. Asset transportation in progress. Oh, well, here they all come. Asset transported. Delivery Oh, what am I doing? I'm leaving this area. I don't want to take a picture. Oh god, I'm not really good. In fact, I'm kind of sick. Kind of hard to focus. All right, there we go. Now we just have to go into here. Press R. They have their original sounds! Yes! Oh God! That banjo music is actually really good. Alright. You parasaurs, how are you? You are happy, but you want a little bit more ground nuts. So we'll give you some more ground nuts. There we go. They're happy. Perfect. They are perfectly happy. Oh god, my nose. View. Alright, what is the next situation? Camerasaurus, Taurosaurus, one Brachiosaurus. Or Deinonychus and two Brachius or two Baryonyxes or three Diplodocus. Let's 
go with the... Let's go with the four Deinonychus that are in... That are in... Uh, Alandia. That's going to be dangerous. But it will be well worth it. I have no idea what I'm doing here. There we go. Oh, got my nose. Ugh. So much snot. It's annoying. Let's actually tick tick the moment of looking at the Alright. Oh one evaded. Damn it. Alright. Alright, we're transporting these. Assets in transit. Oh guys, here. Let's get their live feeder going. Bam. And obviously they want water. Oh god, I forgot. There we go. And drive. Lonely? What do you mean lonely? Don't tell me you needed all four. Oh, thank God. Oh, you guys like that. You don't... You don't like that. Okay. Well, there you go. So, hopefully that's better.
Come on. Uh, now we need to go to an H element. Uh, all right. So then we need to drive this and see what's wrong with the Deinonychus. Oh my gosh, like, guys, I, I almost had a heart attack when I saw they were lonely. I was like, don't tell me that I needed to capture all four of them, because that would have been just really stupid. Oh, you can't cut through the forest. Great. go over there all right so now I need to research what was it I need to research their new disease which is this you're more eligible to do that all right start and go to break room go to you rest there we go Alright, now they're fully happy. Yippee! He likes copies, dislike all carnivores. Oh god, my nose. Oh, their health is dropping fast. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Alright, play. Now, get these guys. Drive. Now, right, let's go medicate our new Deinonychus. Uh oh. I have multiple. Ah. Alright, so got one or so got four more dinosaurs that are sick, and it looks like it's the Paris. Let's go medicate our babies. Alright.
There we go. There we go. He's outbreak controlled. All right. Oh, that's why. They don't got a a thingy here. Well, let's give them a thingy there. Let's also give these guys one too. Ranger team at task. Bam and There we go. Alright. So, we're almost there. I just need to get, like, one more dinosaur in here. Which... Let's see. What would be the best course of action for said one? We can go with a Diplodocus. Let's go with Diplodocus. We'll go with both of them because hopefully we'll have a higher chance. So that's done. And speed up that reminds me I want to check something uh, settings mouse and keyboard sir a quick button for speed up time transport mode path mode capture mode Mosh mode. Time control. Oh! So. Okay. <coughs> oh my. So I wonder. Uh oh. They're... Oh fuck. Great. Um Add task, uh Sedate. Sedate. Um. Oh, f oh, f no, no. It's nice we captured all three of them, but uh, give me two minutes. What's up? What's going on over here?
Well, they seem to be fine. Okay, hopefully. Being oh, my God, my nose is killing me. Give me a damn sec. situated got a box of tissues let's get back in the game We, need, we, we might need to expand the, um, the habitat. All right, what about the Incal? You're good. Paras are good. Four two. F. 
Ah, okay. How are you guys? You're good? You're alright? Perfect. Alright. So how are the Diplodocus? Pretty good. Alright. So... Now with that all being situated... Asset transported. All right, all right. All right, come on. Should be almost done with this, actually. Never mind, we actually just completed it. All right. This is what we'd hoped to accomplish on Isla Nublar. A place where the dinosaurs could finally thrive. Minus the volcano. Obviously. That's a pretty big minus. Yeah. I think we can all be proud of what we've accomplished here. But... But what? I can hear it in your voice. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering what Dula is really up to. I don't buy all her saving the future by controlling the past talk. Yeah, Lambert mentioned that some of the animals were being moved to an undisclosed location. He wouldn't say, or maybe he didn't know who was taking delivery, but it wasn't the DFW. Ooh. A third party? You and I are not invited. Well, that's not good. Oregon! The next area is exactly more up north. So, that's interesting. Oh, man. We're from Seattle Tacoma Airport's air traffic control, but now we're getting radar hits from Portland International. So they're traveling south. Oh. Because of the weather. Agreed. They're migrating. But what happens if one of these animals decides to play chicken with a commercial airliner? This is the modern world and the prehistoric one on a collision course. Well, it's dead. Anyways. Uh, that's it for... Uh, the third episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I hope you really, guys, you enjoyed me doing this. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe. And I know that 85% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. Please subscribe. It helps my channel. So, with that said... I'll see you guys later.